Okay, so uh, I am Pratik, uh, one of the uh, grantee of uh, ORKG Equation Grant, and uh, today I'm going to present my work, uh, one of the best presentation, which I think this is my best uh, today. So starting with my uh, broad research areas, uh, so uh, I'm working on the <clears throat> uh, basically remote sensing data sets uh, for geological application. Uh, I am extracting some uh, like field spectra and some uh, satellite image and uh, applying some image and image processing and signal processing techniques uh, so that I can get some useful information which are uh, very useful in planning and uh, uh, mining and other uh, geological markets. So uh, these are my research area, hyperspectral, smooth spectroscopy, lunar and Mars geology, UAV applications and machine learning. So uh, basically uh, these these research areas combine two, two broad uh, research areas, planetary sciences and earth sciences. So these are the research topics covered uh, in my ORKG comparisons all of uh, till now. Uh, ba basically two fields I choose, planetary sciences and earth sciences. And these are uh, some basic, uh, uh, they are the subfields of these uh, research fields. Now uh, coming to my first the uh, the the best comparison which i going to present is the as a generalized view of remote sensing sem center sensors and their applications uh, in various fields so it uh, comes under the field of research uh, earth sciences also uh, like before showing the presentation uh, discussing presentation i will i will discuss uh, how i get inspired to like uh, to uh, make this comparison. Actually, uh, during my master's and PhD, I faced um, various uh, basic research problems. And uh, like these remote sensing data sets are very fancy and uh, very like beautiful, but uh, uh, processing them uh, to get some uh, real, uh, real world result is very difficult, S especially when you are from a different background and jumping to remote sensing, then it is really difficult. So uh, I, I I uh, I was very lucky in that I got selected for ORKG grant and I choose ORKG as a platform to uh, share those basic ideas basically using my comparison. So there are many basic steps which are involved in the remote sensing data processing which are not discussed in every research paper. So uh, like I took that uh, as a challenge and one of the research problem for this comparison is how the remote sensing data sets can help to solve the current issues in real life application. So uh, I will just show my presentation. Uh, this, uh, uh, this was the comparison. So uh, uh, I have chosen uh, six, uh, basically six papers for this comparison. And these all six papers had different research problem related to different application. Like this is for water resources and hydrology, this is for forest ecology, and this is for urban climate and mineral and soil moisture. So uh, my first, uh, like my first step to uh, extract the res main research problem, which is related to my remote sensing field, because many times there are many research papers which are sh which gives an a uh, broad idea about different technologies. So uh, I decided to narrow down my research problem to only remote sensing and particular application part. Then I search for some basic applications and the sensors. So here is the main part. When a remote sensing student will sh uh, will go through this comparison, so he will uh, he or she will get an idea which type of uh, sensors and their data set are used in which type of application. For example, uh, for uh, mineralogy, uh, the hyperspectral data sets are very popular because they give very uh, crucial information. So these are the some sensors which have been uh, which have been used for different applications. So uh, a new student in this remote sensing uh, can definitely get a, a broad idea of uh, research of sensors which are used in his uh, his or his uh, his or her uh, desired application. Also. Now the analysis which I have done on these uh, for these applications like for forestry only spectral analysis is uh, sufficient like uh, for uh, uh, for uh, vegetation you can see uh, th these indexes can be derived using the satellite data for mineralogy some critical spectral analysis can be done all the def all the definitions are available on clicking on these resources. Also, field work was important or not, it is also included in this comparison. 
the outcomes these are the major outcomes which we generally found in every such paper on remote sensing uh, subjected to the particular uh, application for minders uh, we we search for delineation for, for faults using remote sensing data so data sets also uh, alteration minders can also be uh, identified using remote sensing data sets for uh, soil these dielectric properties can be studied from the remote sensing data sets so overall this comparison uh, shows the generalized view of remote sensing and can it can be understood uh, understandable by a, a normal person or a third person which uh, definitely knows nothing about my field so coming back to the uh, presentation uh, this uh, so the finally the inf inference was this comparison and this few research papers on remote sensing application in various research fields including forestry mineralogy etc also uh, this comparison will be helpful for all the general users of orkg to get a broad idea about the latest advancements in remote sensing technology so this was the comparison which i showed also uh, talking about the modeling approach so <clears throat> first of all i have selected a, a research problem related to remote sensing only remote sensing then a selection of research papers covering at least the selected problem for example mining for for example uh, soil characteristics and other now uh, narrowing down the uh, research problem to the uh, narrowing down the aim of the paper to the selected problem because many research paper provide a lot of data set lot of results which are not useful for a particular problem which which i was searching for also then uh, selecting the sensor which were used or uh, and uh, the analysis that were used by the authors to define or to define the problem related to the research problem only then coming to the techniques and methods these are the important part for a remote sensing student because <clears throat> many basic many high quality journal paper does not include the basics of some newly used techniques so now coming to the pre processing calibration and cal uh, like correction and calibration of remote sensing data it is also important and most of the pap papers just cite the old papers uh, which have used the calibration techniques but uh, in my comparison i have explained them all or whether the, uh, in some part some uh, some techniques the explanation is not available then i have, I have provided the part to the research paper or, or some youtube videos which can explain these techniques better also field work information is also given and here uh, what are the outcomes and the other information which can be useful uh, to the uh, like reader or the or a third part third person but what not necessary for my research work also included in some paper so uh, the, this was the my first comparison uh, actually that comparison don't have any visualization so i have included uh, one more uh, paper which has some visualization that uh, paper is the sorry one more comparison which has the which actually comprises the review of mineralogy at cuprite hills in nevada so uh, this the cuprite hills in nevada us are one of the ideal sites for geological remote sensing so this comparison shows how remote sensing sensors are utilized and their data sets are utilized to show the uh, occurrence of various minerals so these uh, you can see in this uh, these visualization that various minerals and their occurrence in the uh, in the like uh, up to 2500 nanometer range uh, monomontolite muscovite muscovite are uh, observed at uh, around uh, 2200 nanometer and these contributions are the papers actually i i haven't used the uh, xss as uh, um, uh, as a set uh, it's a study area because these minerals are found at only one at only one study area so i have used the various research papers which have noticed these uh, uh, minerals at different wavelength also here also uh, you can see uh, to the like uh, uh, up to 10000 nanometer various minerals are observed actually these are all silicate minerals so they are showing their characters at, at a particular point on so these were my uh, best comparisons uh, thank you for listening thank you thank you patek thank you patek very nice very nice very well struck uh are there any questions from the audience so uh i i would i have some comments so so what i really liked was that you also provided for all the resources definitions 
So that makes uh, it possible for a user to to understand what you are meaning with the terms that you use. Um, the question I would have is, did you also take a look at the actual graph that you produced for each paper representation, whether that graph makes sense? Uh, actually, uh, yes, for a student, yes, it makes sense because, uh, for example, I wanted to know before, before, any, before reading any research paper, research paper, I wanted to know what minerals are found in a particular study area. So I will go to the various research paper. Instead of going to the this, just go to the my visualization and check that these minerals were uh, noticed by various researchers in different uh, years. So uh, I'm sh I showed only one visualization, but where most of the my visualization are same because uh, I I am working on minerals and their uh, occurrence in the electromagnetic spectrum. So I think it is very useful for the like beginners. To uh, to avoid going through the literature deeply, just go through my visualization, and they will know where the minerals are found in yeah. the electromagnetic. Thank you, Patek. 